What's going on everybody, Mr. Ruby Studios here, and I'm here with another episode of the Minecraft Survival Guide. Now, as yesterday, we learned to survive our first night, gather some coal, learn how to make some charcoal if we cannot survive the first night, torches, basic tools, gathering, and hunting. In this episode, we're going to cover some mining, what caves, what are, what are in caves, hopefully some mobs if we find any, some like skeletons, zombies, that sort of thing. And we're going to upgrade to all stone tools. That is the goal. Now, the first thing I'm going to teach you guys real quick, though, before we go ahead, is how to make a chest. Now, you are going to need some wood. So if you did not gather enough wood, you're going to want to go out and chop down some more trees. But it is the same thing as a furnace, just with wood planks. So we're going to make this chest here. And actually, since I have enough, I'm going to show you how to make a dup make up a double chest. So you can stack chest, and we're going to make these two chests right here. So, a chest is just a single block as so, but if you place two of them next to each other, they double up to make a large chest. Now, you can't just keep tripling and quadrupling. After that, you cannot no longer set another chest next to it because it will not triple up, and that just doesn't work that way. So, you'd be, so when you went to place a block, it, you went to place it and it would just do this or something, and you wouldn't be able to place the other chest there because it won't double up now you can stack them as long as there's one block above it so I can't open it now but if I put blocks above it I can't open it because it would need to open to open the chest so that's just kind of a realism that they added to the game even though it is blocky and uh, yeah so we're actually just gonna place like some half of our coal in there just in case we die like half the wood and um, half the food just so we have food and uh, yeah so this way we don't die and lose all our stuff I'm actually going to take the rest of this food and put that in there. And we're going to take like five chicken. Sounds good. So, now it is day and we're going to go ahead and adventure out. Now, there's a few things you're going to want to do. If you have not already found a cave, you're going to want to search for one. So, like, these are more... They're common to come around, but there are areas where you're not going to find one. Like, here, we just found one. Literally, right next to where I built in my uh, hobbit hole. It's a cave right there. But we're going to try and find another one just for the, so you guys have that peace of mind. Oh, here's another one that they are common to come across. As in the name of Minecraft presumes that you're going to need to mine a lot. So there's two caves. But we're also going to hunt some food while we're out here. And we're going to take out that chicken. And we're going to eat a chicken. So, if you need some wood, I would gather some wood. So all wood does the same. Like this is actually a different tree. And as in the epi last episode, I said there are different trees. This is a different type of tree. We're going to mine it up so you guys are chop it up, I guess, more per se. And this is birch wood. And same thing happens. You just turn it into but uh, birch planks. Now, they are a different color, but they same they serve the same purpose. Sorry. And uh, see, so still make sticks and all of that jazz. So we're actually going to explore this first cave. And I reckon, uh, let's put torches out front of it, one out front of it. And then as you go in, put torches as you go so it lights up and mobs do not spawn. Now hopefully, now I say this hopefully, you guys are probably not going to want mobs to spawn as you go through. But hopefully they spawn so I can show you some of the types of mobs. Now as you go through the cave, you're going to find some coal and hopefully some iron. And uh, yeah, so you're going to want to mine that up. And like I said before... You, uh, let's see, coal and stone are the only two things you can mine with wood. Otherwise, you're going to mine some of this just flat stone. You're going to get cobblestone is right there, and you're going to want to make this uh, cobblestone pickaxe. So, we're going to go ahead and mine up this coal, because coal makes light, and power is practically everything. And what I mean by that, I just mean torches and furnace. So, we're going to put a torch there, so mobs don't spawn in that corner. And, uh, oh yeah, so... This is this is good. We found one zombie here. This is a zombie. He attacks in melee, so don't get close to him. He doesn't explode or anything like a creeper, but he is like he does attack with his fist and he will hurt you. So that's a zombie. Your average zombie of most games, and he he's a bad guy. And this is also a good example here. This is a zombie wielding a spade. They do have a chance to spawn holding something. And this one just happened to holding a shovel or a spade. I wonder what do they call it? A shovel now. They used to call them spades. But uh, so this one, this one's holding a shovel, and it uh, it may do extra attack. I'm I'm pretty sure it does extra attack with a sword. With a shovel, I'm not sure. But then now that it has a chance to spawn with a shovel, it does have a chance to sh drop it. But it will be the 
durability bar, that's the word I was looking for. The durability bar may not be 100% as, like, if you just crafted it. So, that is a thing. Now, we're gonna mine up the rest of this coal here. I'm gonna drop that torch. We're gonna try and not go ahead and fight the zombies right away. We're gonna drop in these other caves. Now, another good thing about putting down torches as you go along, you'll be able to find your way back to see if you explored. And this is lava. Don't don't touch the lava, you'll burn. It's kind of... I hope that's obvious. Well, yes, let's engage in our first battle here. And then we're just gonna keep clicking your sword, so keep left-clicking and you'll, you know, damage the mobs here. Oh, this one spawned with coal. He must have picked it up when I mined it. They do have a chance to pick up blocks when you mine it, and he dropped it. Awesome. He did not drop the shovel, unfortunately. There are a odd number of zombies. That was a lot. Okay. When I keep looking around, yep, here's the other cave. They do uh, tend to attach to each other, so that's that's good, I guess, in this case. And so, more coal. We're always going to want to mine up coal. Now, as you progress farther into the game, you may not need coal. You may be like, I have an entire chest full. I do not need it anymore, and that's fine if you pass it. But in the early stages of the game, I recommend grabbing everything. Now, as you see, there's a different colored ore right there in the floor. We'll get to that in a second after we finish mining up this coal. And lighting up the area, of course. So we're going to mine up this. Now, the good thing about... Ooh, now this is a creeper. He does explode. So I'm going to show you what happens when you don't kill him. He does not hurt you. He comes... Well, he does but he explodes to hurt you, like I just demonstrated there. He makes about, you know, a decent sized explosion. And, uh, yeah, that's his single attack. It's like a bee. He stings and then he dies. So, but with a creeper, he explodes and then he dies. Oh, there's another one. And uh, let me see if I can kill him and get him to drop something. But he does make the hissing sound. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, boy. I'm trying not to get him exploding. Okay, so he g drops gunpowder, of course, because he explodes. And you can make TNT with that. We will get to those, of course, later. And we're just going to light this area up so they don't keep spawning. The creepers, that is. Light that area up. Because it does seem to be getting night, but we're in a cave, so no matter what, they're going to be spawning. The mobs, that is. So a good thing about carrying wood on you, like I was saying earlier, is you can make sticks or whatever you need on the go. So as you can see, I have a stack and seven coal. I'm just going to use this about the 14 sticks we have here to make the rest of our torches and the same goes with I need to make a crafting table or something I could quickly make it and make a tool or something if one breaks as my sword is about to so iron you can only mine with a stone pickaxe or higher so this is an iron ore unfortunately there's only one there but we saw more over here and iron if you smelt it down in the furnace you can get iron what is it I think it's called iron ingots iron bars iron ingots so, I'm just going to call them bars for simplicity, but yeah, you'll get iron bars, and you will be able to create better tools and armor. Oh my, it's already almost night. That was quick, I have to say. So I'm actually going to try and get up here and close a bit of this off so mobs do not fall in here, and try and kill us. So you can jump and place blocks. And we're just going to clumsily close that off and then place a torch so things don't spawn. And we can mine up this iron here. And that iron dropped over there, unfortunately. There it goes. And we can pick it up just simply by coming back down. Awesome. So now we got some iron. We don't have enough really to make much, but we're going to keep building. And as you see, I've been mining and just continuing throughout a normal Minecraft day, and my XP bar will go up. Now, unfortunately, since we're in the beginning stages, you're probably going to die and lose it, and it's unfortunate. But we don't have anything we can spend it on for right now, so it's just going to gather up anyways. But once we get some diamonds and we get further into the game we will definitely be able to uh, put this XP to use and I can show you how. But that seems to be, uh, and this is a bat, he flies around, he is harmless. So as the mobs I find, I will describe them as I go in the ores. So right now as if I've only found coal and iron, 
I've described those to you in the mobs. So the only remaining mobs there should be are spiders, skeletons, and jocks and endermen. I believe that is it. And then of course you got the nether, which is a whole different segment. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, so it looks like we got this cave mostly dug out. And we're going to try and f find our way out, see, follow the torches out, try and use your memory. Oh, found a skeleton. So skeletons have bows and they will shoot you. I'm going to try and get them to shoot me. Yeah, so right there, he shoots, a, he shoots an arrow at you and... Uh, if you're far away and you can't get to him, you might want to go because he will shoot you with his bow for sure. And I found iron. I want to grab that before I leave. I'm trying to grab everything I can. We'll come back when we're better armed for sure. And have more materials. So it seems my pickaxe is about to break. It's about to... Its durability is about up. Alright, this is somewhat looking familiar. Yeah, okay, here we go. It's just one of the tricky things about caves. You may get lost, and uh, that I will show you a trick on how to get out once I do get lost, because I guarantee that will happen. So perfect, we got out. And it doesn't look like there's going to be much danger around at the moment besides that skeleton over there. So we're going to try and grab these chickens. And then we're going to go inside. So I was hoping to find a sheep. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be sheep around. And sheep, the reason I want them is because you can kill them or shear them to make wool. So now that we're inside and we have nothing else better to do, I'll put a torch to make sure we have light, we're going to go ahead and smelt this iron. So what you do is it's this, you put the iron in the same place as you put the food, so the raw chicken or raw food. And then you're going to take your coal and you're going to put it on the bottom like you did. And now it's going to use the one coal to create the, the flame, which will of course run out. But it's going to create some iron bars or ingots. And there you go, iron ingot. But I'm just going to call them bars. And we got the achievement acquiring some hardware. So when it becomes day, I will be back. And we can continue our adventure to look for some sheep. And just hunt some sheep down to make our bed. Oh, don't you love those beautiful sunsets when they come up after the mobs have gone away? Ah, oh, so beautiful. So now I'm back, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade all our tools to stone, because wood just plain out just not good. So we're going to go ahead and make some more sticks, and make ourselves some stone tools. Actually, we're going to need like three of these. We're just going to pretty much convert everything we have to stone, upgrade our hardware, because we're not nubs, and we can go ahead and do these things. So now we'll go ahead and we got a full set of stone almost, and then we just need a sword. Got our sword, so now these wood tools we can pretty much dispose of, and as well as the iron, this is finished cooking. We're going to go ahead and leave this for the next episode, because we do need to go ahead and find a bed. We're going to put a majority of this, like I said, usually in the large chest, and the only way this stuff really gets destroyed is if someone burns it or creeper makes it explode or you just just mine up the chest on accident and uh, that'd be bad so we're gonna hunt for some sheep because we need a bed we're gonna head and kill this pig and today's a hunting day so we're gonna we're like I said we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and hunt and there's uh, an entrance to the cave we found earlier know where that entrance went and uh, found a chicken so hopefully we're going to gather enough food to be set for a while and hop around on these che these trees here, if I could speak correct English. These trees, and we're going to, he's taking a nice swim, poor duck. Well, he's a chicken, but he's acting like a duck. And he's no longer either. Another cave, as I said, it is not that hard to go ahead and find caves. Another chicken. Really looking forward to finding some sheep, hopefully. If my game would allow that to happen. Oh, we got a we've got chicken party. We have like all sorts of chicken, but hardly anything else. And uh, this pig decides to spawn. I don't think we found a cow. <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't think we found a cow yet. Cows drop leather, 
and that could be created to that you leather can be used to create books and armor and I would recommend saving it for books because you can find iron so easily and upgrade to iron so much quicker than you can to leather so a leather I'd recommend saving for books and uh, we will go over we will go over creating books another time but that was odd lag spike Hunting down every chicken on this server, or I guess my on my single player world server. Psh, servers. Who has time for that? Okay, so <laughs> chickens. What is there to talk about with chickens? And uh, just found some coal on the surface. We're gonna go ahead and mine this. Now this is nice to find when you first spawn. It's coal on the surface because it's easy. You don't have to dig around for it, and it's just right there. And this seems to be a large vein of coal. Yeah. So you'll often hear these uh, terms, I guess you could say. Minecraft is, like when you find a chunk of coal like this, you don't often be re uh, re referred as, I'm losing my words here, referred as a vein of coal. So we're going to go ahead and grab that vein of coal. Now that's going to be chunks, I guess. We're also going to grab this. This is sugar cane. Not like... Not bamboo. Oh, yeah, I still called sugar cane. Yep. And we're gonna go ahead and grab this. This is actually really nice. This is what you use for books and cake. It's what I believe that's it. Just books and cake. But you probably want to save it for books. Nothing wrong with cake. Nothing against it. But we're gonna have to grow a lot to make some books. Plus, we're gonna need that leather. So. And as you could tell, when you when you hunt for stuff, sometimes you don't find it. We're, we're learning that the hard way right now. Can't find our sheep. Maybe sheep came are extinct. Maybe they haven't evolved yet. Who knows? Hopefully one day. We're praying. Just lots of chicken and an occasional pig. And we're back to where we started. Oh man, still no sheep, eh? That's not good. I think we're going to check this area again because we were over here and they could have spawned when we were leaving. Maybe I was kidding. I don't know. But there is more sugar cane over here and we're going to go ahead and grab that. And then start our sugar cane farm soon. There will be another episode for farming. Right now I'm really concerned. Those are squids over there. Don't have to worry about them. I can just give you the quick rundown as you kill them, you get ink sacks, and you can make them, you can use the ink sacks to dye wool, or dye leather armor black, a black color. Okay, and that's an example of fall damage right there. I ran out of food. And an unsuccessful hunting trip for sheep. Wow, that's, uh, that's disappointing. Super disappointing. But I'm going to keep this in the video just because to show you that not everything, of course, goes p to plan. And that you don't, like, when we're looking for sheep, you can't always just expect it to be out there. Sometimes we might have just skipped it or something along those lines. But it is still day. We're going to continue hunting anyways. Our adventure, our Steve character, I guess my guy's not Steve, he's some wizard guy, has hope. And we found a sheep. We don't have iron on us. Oh boy. You can make these shears to shear the sheep. Which gives you more wool, of course. Okay, sheep, you were... We're going to trap the sheep here. You know what? He's not going anywhere. Yeah, and he has tree above him. He can't go anywhere. We trapped the sheep there. Hopefully more spawn. Where is it? It's about midday. I'm going to go ahead and grab two iron real quick back from the base. And make some shears. I totally forgot about that. I was really hoping to find like a, just a plethora of sheep. Because if you just kill sheep, you only get one wool. But if you go ahead and shear the sheep, you'll get more wool. Like two to three, maybe even four. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go ahead and... I guess fortunate for the sheep. 
So I'm going to show you how to make shears. You only need your 2x2 two two, uh, crafting table in your inventory. You don't have to worry about your crafting table, table, actually item. You don't have to worry about that. I want to run back to the sheep so it doesn't despawn. I probably should have grabbed food. That's okay. I don't even think I picked up that chicken's meat. I will. Oh, found a... Uh, um, our white sheep disappeared. No, he didn't. He's still in there. So we found two sheep. This should be enough. So with the iron ingot, if you just place it side by side like this in your 2x2 two two crafting table, and if you have the six, or if you have the six squares, I think that's six, right? And like three, no, that'd be nine. If you have your nine squares with the 3x3 three three table, you just put it 2x2 two two like this anywhere in the table, and you'll get shears. So this is like a tool, pretty much. And with that, with that, what? He disappeared. Oh, no, he didn't. So if you go up to sheep, and I believe it's left click, yeah, left click and you will get that clipping noise and you just shear the sheep. And if you want them to live, which would probably be smart in another cave, by the way, we would uh, not kill them, so we're not. Sheep get spared. And I don't want to ruin my landscape. My landscape of the world, I like it looking nice and fresh. So I'm going to take that back. And we're going to left click on the sheep and we're going to shear him. Unfortunately, we only got one. But we got three... We got three little wolves from the other sheep, so we should be okay. I'm going to go ahead and return. Turn to our hobbit hole from our adventure, the great adventure with Bilbo Baggins. And we can no longer sprint. This is another side effect. I think I've said this already, but I'm going to go ahead and repeat myself. This is another side effect about not eating. Once you lose all your hunger, you're going to start dying slowly. You're going to start losing health. But a uh, side effect is you can no longer sprint. And we'll go ahead and return home. I'm going to grab some pork chop and we're going to throw some other pork chop into the furnace. And eat chow down and some pork chop real quick before we go ahead and get some hard crafting put in. So how do you make a bed, you say, and what do beds do? Well, let me first show you how to make one. You're going to put three, you're going to put three little wood of any sort honestly like you could take that out and put this here it's still gonna make a bed and the same with the, the same with the wool doesn't matter what color you can put in any order it's still gonna make a bed you're gonna want to put three wool on top of three wood like this meaning you're gonna need the crafting table you're gonna want to leave the one one row of the crafting squares open besides the middle one you have to have them on top like this so like I'm showing, it doesn't matter how you arrange it, you're still going to get this red bed. It doesn't change the color or anything. I'm going to go ahead and take that and place it down right here. We're actually going to carve out a little extra area for the bed. And now when it becomes night, you can actually sleep on the bed. Now during the day, you left click it and uh, it's, it's going to say, you know, or right click it, my bad, excuse me. Uh, you're gonna it's gonna say you can only sleep at night. Well, when it becomes night, which it almost is, I do believe. Yes, we can fit this in. Is that you sleep and it turns day? So you can skip through the night because no one likes waiting in their home like I did off screen, waiting for it to become day. So that is a perk to having a bed. So beds aren't just completely useless. When the moon is up and the sun's down. It should be night. You're going now. Nope. Yep. So sleeping and it's going to become day as you saw the moon was coming up and the sun was going down. It was night. And now the sun is coming up. So I believe that's the sun right there. And now it's day. But I believe we're going to wrap it up there guys. Thanks for tuning in and get ready for episode 3 because that's going to be really exciting. We get to dive deeper into the world of Minecraft.